<laughs> Yo, what's up? It's your boy Cardinal no Beats. And I you know the guy in the black cap. And if you know me, the crew, now we got every guy here. So I'm fine, boy. <laughs> yeah, so today, welcome to Behind Bars. You know, this one, it be one take shoot. So in case we fumble <laughs> or we back, make you know, laugh, please. <laughs> yeah. So today we have Lyrical Joe coming through with two beds. Um, there's a diss track, beef track, 99, anyhow you want to call them. So the background of this track is it's a diss track to two guys, Jovi and Cardinero. Jovi is from Cameroon, Cardinero from Sierra Leone. Jovi is like the top artist in Cameroon. From my research, he's number one in Cameroon. Cardinero, Sierra Leone, I frankly didn't know they were rappers since. <laughs> Forgive me for my ignorance. <laughs> but yeah, so Jovi did a track called Mentality, this is Lyrical Joe. So this is a response to that track. You should listen to that track. I won't do analysis an analysis of that track anyway, but it's past like true. So let's just go into this one. So I see what Jovi uh, I mean Lyrical Joe is trying to tell Jovi and Cardinero. Let's analyze it. See idea about anywhere you go here any analysis for be like. Let's start. Me, I'm a beast, man. I don't care about you kings and gods or whatever the F y'all niggas think y'all at. From this side, we give respect to who gives respect. Yeah. Come on, go to you mad at me. Called me pig, so I drag you when you're mad with me. Okay, so... This guy, I'm also going to stop like the other one because every line is pregnant. So come on, goat, you mad at me. You called me pig, so I dragged you in the mud with me. Come on, goat is like Cameroon goat. So Cameroon's greatest of all times. Um, Jovi is number one in Cameroon, so of course they are goat. Cameroon's greatest of all time. You mad at me. You called me a pig, so I dragged you in the mud with me. I dragged you in the mud with me, meaning that we're about to dirty ourselves. Of course, beef is a dirty game, so... You're about to dirty yourself since you are the top and I'm the I'm the small boy. That's why previously he said um we give respect to whoever gives respect. No age limits over here. If you fuck up, we diss you. That's how like that's how the game is. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah. You said it's all about lyrical ability when I'm the only lyrical here. Show me your ability. Let's say I'm not a star, I'm an underground artist. Yeah, I don't have followers. I don't have blue ticks. I don't play big shows. I'm not an A-list. Let's say in my own country, I'm not the topic. <laughs> I just gave you the dirt on me. <laughs> yeah, it's just some eight mile shit. I don't know if you watched the movie Eight Mile Eminem. Um, when you dissing someone, first of all, what you need to do is you diss yourself, so the person doesn't have any comeback. You get it. So that's what he just did right now. And also, he said he's the only lyrical here. Jovi and Cardinal should show him their ability, meaning that they are not close to him when it comes to lyric, like when it comes to lyricism, lyrics, lyrical ability. <laughs> oh God. I'm just wondering how I became your rivalry. First 10k views your fans gave me, but when you do a good job, they gotta pay you. Be. Okay, uh, so. Since he, you see, he said um, he doesn't have blue ticks, he doesn't have followers, and no, he's not in this country. It's not the topic. He's not number one in Ghana. But how then is he a rival? You get it? Like if he's not the number one in his country, he's not like basically anything in his country. Then you that you are the top artist in Cameroon, how is he a rival? It doesn't even match up. You get it? But with lyrics, anybody can match up anybody. That's what he's trying to show him over here. And he said the first 10k views, his fans, last Jovi's fans gave him his first 10k views. Of course, if he did a good job at dissing Jovi, they got to pay him. That's when he cashes out in YouTube, when he gets YouTube views, of course, YouTube will pay him. So when he disses you very well, got to pay him. Get it? Yeah, let's go. Come here, what is this you niggas worshiping? A God that is lacking in creativity. Your fans about to die and start ghosting your tweets since you were God and Twitter is where your heaven is. Household. <laughs> so he said, Come here, what the hell are you worshiping? A God that lacks in creativity. <laughs> you know, God's great. Yeah, so if he's not able to match up with him, Lyrical Joe, 
the he lacks creativity he, uh, of course listen to the mentality track um, i think there's a good comeback from lyrical joe based on the mentality track and of what you're saying you understand the way you listen to the mentality track i'm not saying um jovi is not good jovi is a good rapper i listen to the flow he's good but there's a good comeback from lyrical joe like trust me because what you just said a god that lacks in creativity so you can't even create that you you calling yourself a god the, your your fans are about to start ghosting on your tweets, so that's what you're trying to say. So, tw- um, like tw- Twitter is where he has a lot of fans. You get it. So if <laughs> he has a lot of fans in, on Twitter, Twitter is where he's heavenly. Gods are heavenly. You get it. Like see the wordplay, see the um, um comparison. Like gods are heavenly. So Twitter is where he's heavenly. You get it. But even on Twitter, his fans are, are, are about to start ghosting on his tweets. You get it. So meaning that. The fans will stop re- like responding to his tweet. The uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, how do you call that thing? Engagement rate here. Yeah. The engagement rate of his tweets are about to reduce because lyrical Joe is about to steal the fans. Cause Charlie, the guy is good. Trust me, like it's good. You can comment on it below the comment. Name in Cameroon. How? How? <laughs> I analyzed this shit and got the answer. Okay, I realized what it takes to be a star in Cameroon is what it takes to be underground in Ghana. Shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. There's a low blue. There's a low blue. There's a no lyrical. You don't do this. With this, this, <laughs> he's not talking to just Jovi. Talking to <laughs> every A list rapper in Cameroon, meaning that. If you are starting Cameroon, if you come to Ghana, <laughs> you will freaking be underground. <laughs> but facing facts, I don't want to say it's true, but it's actually true. <laughs> I mean, see, when it comes to rap in Africa, Ghana, number one. I don't know about the rest. <laughs> Ghana, number one. I'm not original cause I rap like a foreigner Hola. Which foreign artist are you better than? Hola. Show me the rapper copying your style Who's being heard in Ghana like I'm being heard in your country now Okay, so to be fair I have a problem with Lyrical Joe That's a star He raps very well He has good punchlines and all that the, the flow is dope But he raps like a foreigner, like seriously and I think that's what's affecting Lyrical Joe. Like, to be fair, you get it. That's what, that's what I think is affecting Lyrical Joe. Because the people can't relate to you. You have, a, like, a smaller niche of people. So they can't relate. Like, the majority can't relate to you. So it, become, it becomes a little bit difficult to, like, enter the mainstream where you start cashing out, like, really big. You get it. Um, so it needs to infuse more of the, like, uh, local dialect into his rap. I think that will help him. If you, of course, someone will tell him. Free advice. This one is for free. Free. Let's go on. I heard replies from your little dummies. They all rapping like they never get food. What have you been cooking? Your heart? Oh, time heals. But if you keep rapping like that, you can't afford a rolly. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> See the comparison? Like, yeah, you all heard time heals. Of course, time heals all wounds. That's like what English say. Um, time heals broken hearts. Of course. When you hurt yourself with time to to heal, basically, yeah. and <laughs> so you hurt time heals. But if you continue to rap like this, you can't afford a roll a Rolex. <laughs> so <laughs> he wants to say that the style of rap and the delivery or whatever it is won't take him anywhere. So <laughs> he should change the style so that he can start cashing out <laughs> to. <laughs> Fuck, that's dirty. <laughs> Let's go. Since I dropped, you always seen your feelings, bro. I'm just whooping your ass that I'm out. Adios. Listen, yo. I'm steady sweeping people off their feet. You drop so much trash, you should be sweeping studio. Ah. <laughs> but this guy is dirty. See, I'm not exaggerating. Maybe you don't get the lie. See, I started sweeping people off their feet, meaning that it's that good to sweep people off their feet. You spit trash, you stupid. You should be sweeping studios. So meaning that every lyric or every word that Joby spits is trash. So he should be sweeping the studios, <laughs> which he records from. Like he should sweep all the trash from the. Fuck. 
I hope you get it. If you don't get it, comment on it. I'll respond. You get it. <laughs> I'm in the building, you know it, I came from the concrete I put my life on it, none of you rappers are coming for me in this conflict I heard you wrote a song for Akon With no bars, that's why you couldn't become a convict <sighs> Lyrical Joe is good See, there's a good comeback from that track mentality You should listen to mentality, then you understand this track, man Lyrical Joe is good Take it from me, Ghana number one Like the whole, I don't know about the others Ghana is number one Yes, what he's trying to say is, <laughs> I heard you wrote a track for Akon with no bars. That's why he couldn't become a convict. Who's a convict? A convict is someone behind bars. So if you've been arrested and jailed before, you're a convict. You get it? So if he wrote a song which has no bars, that means you can't become a convict. I hope you get it like this. Yeah, I hope you get it. There were no bars in the track. That is punchlines. Like, like... You can equate it to punchlines. There were no bars, so you can't become a convict. Like, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> um, you look like 60 years. How old are you, man? I heard you've been doing this for long. Is that true, man? Not even a local award. You just like me, man. Check my YouTube. My views are very small, like your achievements. <laughs> <laughs> so lyrical joe of course since it's not a top ad, like it's not a list in ghana there are lots of achievements that he like he doesn't have he doesn't have any awards so if you jovi which is you are the top artist in your country and <laughs> you don't have any <laughs> awards you're just like him that's what he's trying to say <laughs> your achievements are like his <laughs> youtube which are like poor <laughs> Why you trying to be sad? My nigga fame cast wealth. Man, I thought you had that. On to gain recognition as a top notch. Uh, such a head is still opportunity, never knock. Nah. You too grown, I can't even say you kidding me. You look like a rapist, but still back in the penetrate. <laughs> See, so analysis the B. <laughs> so analysis the B. Man. Let's go back, let's go back. Let me listen to that line again. <laughs> Never knock nah. You too grown, I can't even say you kidding me. You look like a rapist, but still back in the penetrate. <laughs> you too grown, I can't say you kidding me. Is that the job you look 60 years? Of course, like he looks old. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so you can't even say what you say, trying to say to him, you're kidding. Like, are you joking? I can't even say that because you're too grown. Like, I have to give you that respect. And what's that? <laughs> what's the other line? <laughs> I've even forgotten the other line. Knock now. Nah. You too grown. I can't even say you kidding me. You look like a rapist, but still back in the penetrate. <laughs> of course, rapists don't beg to penetrate. They just penetrate. I don't want to talk when it comes to these rape, rape, rapes. I don't really want to talk about it because it's it's a little bit sensitive when it uh, when probably some people watch this and you're talking about something they've experienced. So. Like rapists don't beg to penetrate, but he's begging to penetrate. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. You got a label name New Bells, but the last time we checked, your label hasn't been ringing shit. <laughs> See, Jovi is signed under the label. I think it's his own label, um, New Bell Records. And he said the last time we we listened, your label hasn't been ringing shit, meaning that the label is not producing anything sensible for it to even ring on any platform meh dirty respectful mess with me i put you on my plate claiming top five in the country where rappers are not up to train i had to point my gun down to kill you i don't wet my aim did it feel like i was taking a shot at the top of this i had to take my gun down to sh take a shot at you i lowered my aim didn't feel like I was aiming up at the top parties. Damn. So meaning that to him, Jovi is down there. So he had to lower the gun to take a shot at He's lowering the aim. Like, what? Jovi is down. So you take a shot down to be able to aim at him. And he doesn't feel like he's taking sh shots at the top artist. Like, man. 
That's wicked. <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> I hope you understand that line. Like down, a- aiming down, because he's not to for lyrical Joe. Joe is not up here, so he's aiming down. He's lowering his aim to take a shot at him. Like so, this is not even like top notch for lyrical Joe. This is like him playing with Jovi. Yeah. Let's continue. I'm in. Only place you rub the people blind. Whoa. Your head, that's what's been blocking. Up comes shine. You already lost, but you seem to reply me. It's like saying I'd rather be killed than to commit a suicide. Okay, okay. So, what he's saying is, any which way Jovi comes back, is still a murder. Because is it that he's committing suicide by by doing a comeback track, or even if he doesn't come back, this still murders him. So, see, everywhere block. Maybe I am a simple this me on mentality you killed yourself yeah. but go ahead do a tribute song for yourself yeah. oh i forgot you dead it's very sad you're just a ghost well that's a chance for you to go right for yourself a man who took uh, i forgot you dead there's a chance to go right for yourself so jovi says um i think in the mentality jovi said he has a um, ghost written for artists like different artists so in the for for lyrical joe in the mentality jovi's lines were poor so he's giving him he's already killed him he's murdered him so he's giving him an opportunity as a ghost to ghost right for himself so that at least <laughs> he can make a better comeback Damn. That's a hobby, that's why you drop gate bars. Use facts to come at you, but do your life got facts? You've been an ass for so long, dude. Your life got facts. Yes. <laughs> no F to your facts, so all you do is act. Okay, let's come back again. Let, let's, let's take that. Let's take that line. Again. Your life got facts. You've been an ass for so long, dude. Your life got facts. There's no F to your facts, so all you do is act. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said you've been an ass t- for so long your life got fat like you know what fats are a tan- <laughs> jovi's been an ass for two or you know when you say when you tell someone that you're an ass like it's an it's a diss like it's an insult so you're an ass so it's life got fat and you know fat smells it stinks some guy be a no. Stinks bad. So his life stinks. Jovi's life stinks. Man, see, go listen to Lyrical Joe. Like, he has another track. Fit or guest or so. Bass. Bass. On Twitter. Power Dinero shot the F up. F up. A grown man like you should never be chasing this crowd. And this is what happens when a country let you fill up a stadium without checking if you filled your head up. Shit. This for Cardinero. <laughs> so Cardinero took shots at MI, Sarkodie, Calligraph, um, Jones, and all like tough shots, uh, top parties. I don't know why anybody who wants to come at Sarkodie kind of like starts by praising Shatawale first. I think because they feel Shatawale is um, beefing Sark like for real. So the fans are going to support him if he disses Sark. So that's what he did first um, give Shatawale fan before he did Sarkodie. So. Lyrical Joe, of course, you know, is a SAC fan. So he's coming at um, Caldinero, saying that he filled the stadium without them knowing that he hasn't even filled his head up. Just say, with Jimmy. <laughs> with Jimmy. <laughs> I give you the privilege to come at Africans' finest. Only way I could be underground in Sierra Leone is I'm a diamond. Silence. Y'all are now my competition. Stone in the hand of David. I normally go for giants. Shit. You know um, the story of David and Goliath. So Goliath was a giant, and the stone knocked Goliath. Like he killed, yeah, he killed Goliath. He didn't knock him. He killed Goliath. So he said he is normally a stone in David's hands. He normally kills giants, meaning that Cardinero ain't shit. Undo baby, ah, you not catch anywhere. You not be giant self taking a shot, like taking shots at African, like better rappers more than him. Even the hey, lyrical Joe normally aims at giants, not Cardinero. That's what he's trying to say. Not Mew. That's what lyrical Joe is trying to say. Beast. Okay, so that's the end of the track. I hope I gave you good analysis of, of course, like always. Like when it comes here, there behind bars, top notch. 
analysis. We give you the meaning of the song. Not what people think. This is what Lyrical G is trying to tell you. It is so far above, brah. We'll meet you on the next one. I think um, there's a response to Lyrical Joe's Two Beds by Cardinero. We'll try and analyze that one. I don't. I know a lot of you don't know Cardinero, but of course, there's an opportunity for you to also know that there are other African rappers out there. Surely, like I said, I didn't know they had rappers, but there's a, an opportunity for us to know Cardinero. So we'll analyze that one and bring it to you probably tomorrow. Let's see. So listen to this one. So, uh, stream other um, lyrical joke songs for into blue i did beg you i did beg you people like that too much look for free free to do don't call youtube now no soon just can it be why all right so meet you on the south side and if they're busy i mean you know that that five boy four kings